Hello, I'm Rodrigo Ruiz from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and I'm glad to be here at this video presenting some unique advantages of a new proprietary uh, light curing initiator system. It's called APS, Advanced Polymerization System, which is, uses a small amount of cafurquinone and uh, associated with all their co-initiators and propagators. Unlike the majority of visible light cured materials which depend heavily on camphorquinone. This APS system has some uh, unique features. They're highly clinically relevant and we're gonna be presenting. APS is available by FGM on dentin adhesives, universal adhesives as well, uh, bulk fill composites, high aesthetic restoratives composites, and visible light cured uh, cements for uh, laminate veneers. Now we're gonna again demonstrate the effect of uh, well illuminated operatory field without the amber, yellowish, orange filter on the light cured cements for veneers. It's extremely important to have long working time with veneers, cements, because uh, when you bond your veneers, you have extrusion of cement beyond the margins and you want to be able to get rid of this excess cement before you light curing. So if you're working with a filter or not a well illuminated operatory field, this might uh, jeopardize the clear vision and you might leave more excess than you want and have a hard time later on getting rid of that. So I'm gonna turn on my light, place the filter. If I was in the office, I would have to exchange gloves back and forth, so waste time, waste more gloves, that's another thing to point out. And uh, I'm gonna dispense all some veneer. APS technology has quite a nice tixotropic flow, so it stays kind of put, but uh, still very easy to work with. I'm gonna add another well-known laminate veneer cement, a little bit more runny. It's a matter of uh, preference. Both with plasticity, and I'm gonna remove my filter. So it's still working time. This one's starting to lose a little bit of flow, see? I'm going to increase the light intensity. See, you lost the flow for cement. Just to crumble. And over here, still nice. Then again, zap it with the light. This one need to zap it, but it's already all has surpassed its working time. So after these demonstrations on the composites with APS system and uh, worldwide brands uh, that uh, are camphorquinone based dependent, we were able to perceive clearly. Uh, some key features and advantages. First of all, uh, composites with APS, you don't see uh, a color mismatch or difference 
comparing before light curing and after light curing. This is a clear advantage so you can get the more aesthetic predictability on your result. Usually the composites, they are heavily dependent on comfort canon, they are yellowish in appearance and you have a color shift uh, after light curing. So uh, this uh, reduces your predictability on the color uh, selection. Also having total etch and universal adhesive that are uh, transparent, you'll have uh, no interference color interference on the extremely thin uh, ceramic restorations. The adhesives that are camphorquinone based for as a sole initiator, uh, they tend to, even after light curing, have a somewhat of a yellowish appearance. So this might generate some static interference. Having a transparent adhesive system is a clear plus to this. And uh, also, as we have seen, uh, extremely uh, longer working time under a well illuminated operatory field even on the light unit from your chair or uh, light uh, from your loop APS composites have significantly more working time under this well illuminated operatory field this means that uh, you don't need to add a uh, orange filter which jeopardizes a little bit of your visualization and uh, you can work, you don't have to move your operator light from your field. So you can work uh, under the light, finish your material, leaving uh, the least amount of excess, your restoration all set with liberty of working on a well-illuminated operator field.